Well, hello there guys, I welcome you to my first English video about tools. And I have prepared for you something internet has never seen. And it is 56 angle grinder cutting discs or cut off wheels put to the test. Why did I run this test? Because it's not only me who uses these discs, of, of course, but uh, everyone who uses angle grinder on daily or weekly basis uh, wants to know which disc is the most suitable one for him and for his use. Should it be big factory with lots of welders or should it be grandpa in garage who just uh, does some do-it-yourself things? Everyone just wants to use the best disc available. I have tested these discs from different points of view. Everyone wants to use the best disc available for his particular use. Test results from this test will be available in three forms in two languages. These two languages include English and Czech language. There will be no German, no Spanish, no any other, because I don't speak that many languages. I have decided to record the video in short version and in long version. And then you can download or just read. Uh, the link is under this video in the description and you can find Google Drive link to my printed report. Uh, there are some images, some tables and lots of text. Everything is explained there. If you have any f further questions beyond these videos, you can look at the document. If you don't even, uh, if you aren't even satisfied with the document, you can ask directly me via my email. So the test procedure or test technique. Long story short, I was thinking of three ways how to test these discs. The first thing that came in my mind was putting angle grinder into a stand that allowed for this movement and putting some ballast weight on the angle grinder and let the disc chew through the material. This test, however, would bring some not that accurate results since these discs differ so heavily that for example, this 3M Cubitron would cut perfectly at with one kilo of weight, while for example, Fisher FCD FP would start cutting at approximately 10 kilos of force, of downforce or 100 newtons of downforce. So uh, because of this, I had to find another way to test these discs. The second option would be constant traveling speed. That means that this movement is constant for every disc. This would result in my injuries because some discs are just faster, some of them are slower and the slower ones would uh, warp, they would twist and finally they would crack and explode. And sharpness would be everywhere. So the third and a little bit redneck method is just old fashions, hold it in your hands and just cut. With this technique, I am able to adjust my cutting position, force and everything according to the disc I have in my angle grinder. I have chosen to perform this test with two angle grinders. First, is Narex EBU 13-11. Narex is Czech, that means from Czech Republic, not Czechoslovakia, Pro Tools brand and this angle grinder is really powerful. It has 1100 watts. On the other hand, I've got this rather hobby or <laughs> really hobby, a Parkside uh, PWSA20 Li B3 version. 
It is cordless or Aku angle grinder and it is one of the weaker grinders. So, <coughs> why two angle grinders? This one uh, shows us the maximum cutting potential of the disc, while this one focuses on effectivity and efficiency of the disc. I will be talking about this in next minutes. I have measured some parameters and I have compared the discs according to these parameters. The first measured parameter was disc loss per one cut. I've got digital caliper, this one, and I measured the diameter of the disc three times around and then took the average number and wrote it down. This aspect, this close per one cut, means that you do one cut and the disc of course shrinks. So it wears out and I just need to find out whether it wears out quickly or slowly. Then it's electric energy consumption. Electric energy consumption is crucial with cordless tools because this power plant isn't long lasting nor does it have enough energy to perform all day angle grinding or cutting. <laughs> so you need to find a disc that doesn't suck too much of energy per one cut and that is energy efficient. I measured this energy efficiency uh, with both angle grinders so the data will be more accurate. Then, measured parameter is time taken for one cut. Uh, I've got stopwatch and I tested uh, or I counted the seconds of uh, the time the disc was in contact with the material. And this time is the cutting time. And I have all, of course divided by the number of cuts and then we've got average time taken per one cut. Some discs were fast, some were slow, and we will see the results in next minutes. Then the fourth aspect I tested was disc behavior. Some discs, well, uh, like this one, were uh, great, uh, they behaved like they should. Uh, they, were, uh, they were cutting like this without any problems, they were cutting in uh, this direction, this counter direction, without any problems. And even if I took U profile, they were cutting without any problems. Then there were discs that had problems with it. It was, for example, this one. This disc did some jerking. It was just uh, throwing me away once it got, uh, I don't know, it, it's something like shoot into the metal and then just throws you out. Results. Which discs were best at which category? First category is energy consumption. The winner was Norton Quantum alongside with Reka F1S. These were the most efficient discs from this test. There are even more of energy efficient discs and they include 3M Cubitron 2, Do It Yourself Flex and Optima Profit. Second category is cutting speed in mains powered tool. That means the performance in a really powerful machine. At this category we have also two winners. They are 3M Cubitron 2 and Blue Grinding. Then also, uh, these discs performed well. It is Norton Quantum, Extol Industrial, Lucas and Bosch Metal. Next, third category is cutting speed in cordless or Aku tool. That is performance in a weak machine. This category has just one winner because uh, it did win with <laughs> quite a reserve. Uh, it was Norton Quantum 5x plus. 
that was the fastest of these discs in cordless angle grinder. Great! We are also Optima Profi 1mm, Chrononflex A60 Extra, Chrononflex A60 TZ Special, Reka F1S and no name LG Abrasive. These were the fastest cutting discs in cordless angle grinder. The fifth and last category before absolute winners is cost effectiveness. That means discs that are uh, or that have the best cuts per coin ratio. Uh, these discs include Tyrolite Basic 1 star 2 in 1, Wirt Zebra Speed 200 plus 1. These were two best discs. Then, really great performance uh, I got from Vintec Extra Lifetime, Dnipro M Ultra, and Rika T2S. These discs, however, all of them were slow and had really bad energy efficiency. One more category is grinding disc. I've got donated Norton Contum 3 grinding disc with thickness of 7.0 millimeters. So I've took my grinding, also grinding disc. Uh, they even write it here, yeah, but that's the brand of it. Uh, this disc for comparison, this one is 6.4 millimeters and this one is 7.0 millimeters thick. I've compared them side to side in cordless angle grinder and I can say while this one costs almost exactly twice as much, it's also twice as much fast. This one took I think 32 seconds to grind through the material while this one took 63 seconds. These discs performed better than average in every tested aspect and one does not make a mistake buying them. These six are the absolute winners of this test. So the absolutely best discs include 3M Cubitron that is very energy efficient but it requires powerful tool and muscular man because it drags you away. Then it's Norton Quantum that is the most efficient disc in this test and also it's awesomely fast and foolproof behavior. Pferd SG has excellent behavior and long life. LG Abrasive uh, has unexpectedly fast cutting speed. Optima Profi uh, is very energy efficient and fast cutting, mainly with cordless tool. And the last best of is Do It Yourself Flex that is very efficient and also fast. More winners include Devolt Extreme Fast Cut two times something and the something is longer life as you can read here. Then it's Kovax IQ 5-in-1 Premium. Then Reka F1S. Both Rekas were really great. Uh, Nipro M Ultra. Festa Industry. Blue and Platinum Grinding. Beware, these are not for grinding, just for cutting. Then Lucas, Germany, Xtol Industrial and two Cronen Flexes. Cronen Flex A60 Extra and A60 TZ Special. There were also unexpected and strange findings during this test. Uh, there were some discs that were more powerful in a cordless machine then in a corded machine. There were also discs that performed very well in corded angle grinder but quite poor in cordless angle grinder. For example 3M Cubitron 
it is powerful disk that requires powerful machine. Some unexpected results include this, let's say, half links. This one is the cheapest of the test. <laughs> it performed quite well if you consider its price. This is IVTech, or it was, it used to be, IVTech's IVTech Inox Special, Special. These two discs used to be Lux Tools. Discs, uh, Lux Tools is brand of Obi, I think, and they had really poor performance and also a lifetime. And this one, you don't know what it is, I will tell you. It's same brand as this. These were one of the best. This, this one is one of the worst. It is grinding yo, but it's jolly. This grinding jolly disappeared in front of my eyes. Literally. Also, there are discs of everlasting agony and never ending suffering. These discs include mainly Fisher FCD FP. These discs can cause you some trouble if you say that you will buy another disc when this one runs out. This would re result in you hopelessly trying to cut material with disc that does not want to eat through nor does it want to shrink over time. And now, before conclusion, I will tell you some facts from the test I didn't expect or they are just generally strange or good info, good to know. At average, that means average from all 56 angle grinder discs, uh, if you put the disc in cordless machine versus in corded machine, then uh, the disc loss was 1.78 times smaller in a cordless tool. That means this one eats 1.78 times more disc material. On the other side, as you are probably expecting, uh, at average this mains powered tool was 1.3 times faster than this cordless tool. Conclusion of the test. This test took me three to four months and I spent tens, maybe even hundreds of hours working on this. Thanks to this test, I found out that it is not always gold that has well-known brand name on it. And that even no-name discs, like this one for example, can outperform branded ones. Example given, Lux Tools. Claims to be brand, but I don't think it's, it's brand worth my time. Another fact I found out is that uh, disc thickness is something that needs to be kept around one millimeter. Discs that were thicker than one millimeter did not perform well. Uh, and the last thing, I am so glad that I have managed to get this test done properly, uh, leading this project to a successful end. This document and its data can be shared under license that has already been defined. I am looking forward to seeing you in future. Uh, if you like this video, then press like. If you dislike it, then press dislike. That's quite normal. And uh, in comments, you can tell me whether you want me to continue recording videos of tests in English language, because my native language is Czech and recording these tests in English takes me some time. So tell me if you want it in future or not.